Hello, Barista. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Can you hear us now? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me too? Yes, we can. So they are okay. love and they are here to uh, perform the form of interview of which I will just leave the floor for them. Though I will have to go out now and then you continue with them. Thank you very much. You are welcome. It's my pleasure. Right. Over to you. Yeah. Okay. Good morning, ma'am. And my name is David Kalde. Good, good morning, David. The team leader for press. How are you? Fine, ma'am. The team leader for press club in Prince International College. Oh. With me and my colleagues. Okay. Nice to meet you. I'm Ari Remako. We shall lie in my name. Okay. The pleasure of meeting you. So nice, nice to meet you all. The pleasure is mine, Noah. Thank you, ma'am. It's a pleasure of meeting you, ma'am. During this interview, we'd like to find out responsibility involved in swearing in academics and how your stay at Prince International School shaped who you have become. As we be okay. As we begin, ma'am. Could you tell us about yourself? Okay, so my name is Toluwani Olakwasi. I am a lawyer by profession. I am also a writer. I am a child of God. I'm from, I'm a native of Modakeke. Though I live in a dojo. So, okay, what else would you like to know? <laughs> I, I'm from a family of six. I have four siblings and I'm the first child. So I think that's, that's okay. Is that okay? Thank you, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, can, okay. ma can you please share us your experience at the tertiary institution you attended? Okay, so I attended Obafemi Awolowo University where I studied law from the year 2012 to 2017 when I graduated. So it was a wonderful experience actually. I spent five years in the school I was a part of the fellowship. We had a lot of things that we were doing at that time. It was really nice. And I'm sure all of you are also looking forward to going to a, a, a higher institution very soon. And I pray God will make it happen in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Mark. Permit me, my colleague. Mark, can you please mention your siblings that you, you said you are six in your family? Can you please mention them? Yes, so, yes, I can. So, the my first sibling is Temiloli Waolakwasi. Temiloli Waolakwasi. Yes, and then the next one is uh, Inioluwa Prince Olakwasi. Inioluwa Prince Olakwasi. And the third one, which is our last one, is a Bonluwa. So, those are my three biological siblings. Okay. So. Ma, Ma, is there any special reason why you chose to study law at the university? Mm, okay. As a child, I actually wanted to study journalism. You know, I wanted to be a journalist. <laughs> <laughs> but then as time went on, I the the passion shifted to law. You know, even though I didn't know so much about law at that time, but I knew I wanted to be the best I could be. I knew I I wanted to be what God wants me to be, and I believed that God wanted me to be a lawyer. 
and then my dad, my parents supported me. They agreed with me, and God made it happen. It was not a do or die affair. It was just I applied to study law, assuming I I didn't get law. Like assuming I wasn't admitted to study law, I would have I would have studied whatever a uh, course I was admitted for. But I desired law, and God God made it happen. So I give God all the glory. Permit me, my colleague, Ma. When you try to, when you are, when you have it in mind to study law, you pray about it. Yes, yes, I did pray about it, and I, I felt God wanted me to, to go ahead with it. So actually, and I prayed that God was going to make it successful, and He did. And now I'm very grateful that I studied law, though I'm learning every day. But it's a wonderful, it's a wonderful field, and the sky, the sky is just the starting point for me. I believe by God's grace. Is there any other things you engage in apart from legal activities? No. Okay. Sorry for the break in transmission. I guess that was network. So can you hear me now? Yes, ma'am. Is there any... Okay. Yes, please. Is there any other things you... I ask your question again. Is there any other things you engage in apart from legal activities? Like right now, do you mean presently? Yes. yes. Okay, yes. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm a writer. So I, I write, I, I, I write for a particular organization. So other than that, I'm a church girl. I am very much involved in church activities. I'm in the choir. Then I have a group called Peace Group, a group of young ladies that where we gather together, meet this. Oh, think generally, that's like all I do. Okay, I'm also a student. Yes, I'm also a student. I'm doing my master's currently in IFE. So I think that's all I'm doing for now. Permit me, my colleagues. Well, you said that you are also a writer for an organization. Please, like, how many books have yes. you published? I have not published any book yet. So, I uh, personally, I haven't published any book yet, though I look forward to publishing books. But when I said I write for an organization, I mean I supply content for their website, for their blog. Do you understand that? Now, let's, Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Now let's discuss things okay. related to Prince International School, PIS. What are some of your memories okay. as students in PIS, Prince International School? Okay. I have uh, wonderful memories <laughs> from Prince International School. Okay, starting from, I had wonderful teachers when I was in Prince. Okay, when I was in Prince, uh, the school only, okay, at first I started from nursery one. So I joined Prince International School as a nursery one uh, pupil. And from there, moving to primary school, and then when I got to primary five, I had to leave because Prince did not have a secondary school at that time. So I left, I went to Unity School in Oshogo, and then later Prince had started secondary school. So I came back. So I think I came back in GSS2 to GS3, and then I had to leave again because Prince did not have SS. So I finished, uh, I left Prince International School in GSS3. But talking about wonderful memories, like I said, I had wonderful teachers. I can remember from my primary school, there was one teacher we used to call Mrs. Amuda. She was so, so, so wonderful. She would teach us a lot of songs, many songs that you people are still singing in Prince today. It was Mrs. Amuda that taught us. She would, she would teach us wonderful songs. 
especially when uh, end of year parties drawing nearer, all those cultural dance, everything, everything. Okay, now to secondary school. I had the wonderful teachers like Uncle Deremi, I think you should know him, Uncle Julius, and Auntie Joke. Uh, a lot of them that I cannot begin to mention their names one after the other. And then I had wonderful colleagues too, classmates, even though we weren't much at that time. I can remember when I was in GS3, I think we were just three or four in class. <laughs> so boy, I, I still keep in touch generally with some of my classmates at that time. And I enjoyed my stay in France. Really, it was, I had a nice time in Prince, and it formed the foundation for uh, whatever I am today. My journey or my sojourn at Prince International School formed the foundation. So it was a very good foundation. I'm grateful to God for that. You said that you have some, that you are still in touch with some of your classmates in Jesus. Don't you let us know their names? Like, introduction about them. Yes. Yes. Uh, Akitunde Lola was my classmate. <laughs> you should know him. Yes. So, Akitunde Lola was my classmate in GS3, GS2, GS3, even primary five. Yes. Agbola uh, Fola Shade was my classmate also in GS3. So I think, and there is another person, but unfortunately he's late now. His name was Emmanuel, but he's, he's late now. He was, we were, he was our classmate then in, in GS3. There are, okay, I think for GS3, we were just those four people. Um, generally, maybe there was one more, but the person had to leave at some point. So we're just like three or four, we weren't much. So, but for primary five, ah, there are a lot of them. Who, <laughs> I can't remember all their names now, but they, they, they were, we, were, we were much in primary five. So I think those are the people I can mention their names now. Other, but I have other people that are not my classmates, but we were, maybe when I was in GS3, they were in like GS2. And I know that everybody is doing. Welcome back, Ma. Welcome back. Thank you. Sorry for the interruptions. Mm-hmm. Can you also share us with so can you also share with us some of the key things that you learned when you were in Prince, Prince International School? Yeah, okay. So I learned I learned about hard work and diligence. It's, I think it was in Prince International School that I first started really reading, like reading, reading, studying my books and all. So I learned about hard work, I learned about diligence, and I, I learned that hard work pays, like hard work pays, there is reward for hard work. When you work hard, you get the reward for it. When you are diligent, you will be rewarded for it. And in the same, in the same way, if you are, if you decide to be irresponsible, there is also a, 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 there are consequences for irresponsibility. Okay. So I, I I learned that every decision that you make at this stage of life, okay. they actually tell in the long run. So there is a there is a reward for hard work. And there is a consequence for irresponsibility or laziness. So I think I learned that from Prince International School. I meet me, my colleague. Ma, when you are in university in OAU as, as a barista, Ma, is it true that there are some books that you read that you don't sleep overnight? Is that true? <laughs> okay. Uh- uh, it depends. It depends on you. It depends on the person. And then it depends on what's going on. You know, times when you tend to, some people are night readers. They, they understand and they, they comprehend things better in the night. 
some people are not like that. They are they 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 are day day readers. It is when they read in the day that they comprehend. So you you just have to understand yourself. And then you don't, there are some people actually they don't if they don't read in the night they can't assimilate. So so there might be people like that that they don't sleep. But me I I, I sleep. <laughs> I sleep in the night. Okay, but uh, ex uh, especially during exam period, you know, during exam period, you may have a lot of things to cover. Yes. A lot of books to read, a, a lot of things you want to cover. Uh -huh. That's when you can now decide to, that's, th those are times when I, I, I might have decided to deprive myself of sleep. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Uh -huh. So normally... I sleep. You're welcome. So, okay. but when I have to, if I have to stay overnight and read overnight, then I, 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 I did that. I'm sure I did that. So, that's it. Okay. How did your stay at Queen's International School contribute to who you are today? Right. Okay. So, like I said earlier, my stay at Prince International School was was the foundation. And you know, the Bible says that if the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? So thank God that the foundation was good. So it has contributed to who I am today. It was when I was at Prince International School. Yeah, I think that I decided to I decided to be to be a lawyer. Yeah, I think so. Though the something, the resolve was stronger when I was in SS, yes. So, but I think the desire to be something great, to be someone great in life, the desire to be, to be relevant in life grew from when I was at Prince International School. So thank God for our teachers, the, the good teachers that we had, and all the advice, the pieces of uh, counsel that they were giving us at that time. It all contributed to who God has made me today. I wish my colleagues, I want to ask, uh, I want to ask that you must have a specific, like, a best teacher in that uh, presentation school. So that, who is, what is the name of the best teacher uh, when you're in prayer school? Best teacher. Ah, I, I may not be able to, I may not be able to mention, okay, when I was in primary school, my best teacher was Mrs. Amuda. <laughs> that was my best teacher, Mrs. Amuda. But for secondary school, I may not be able to mention a particular person, but I loved uh, Auntie Joke. Uh, she's married now. I don't know her husband's surname, so I would have said Mrs. something, but I don't know. But she was not married at that time. I loved Auntie Joke and Uncle, Uncle Deremi, Uncle Julius. So... They were excellent teachers. There were other wonderful teachers, oh, Uncle Bayo, uh, Uncle Toby, uh, Uncle, uh, Uncle Sunday, a lot of teachers. We had a lot of teachers at that time. But I loved uh, Uncle Jeremy. And I, I loved uh, Auntie Joke. I think uh, maybe Uncle Jeremy didn't really take me much, but Auntie Joke, Auntie Joke took me. So let's say Auntie Joke. But for primary school, Mrs. Amuda. That was my best teacher. Okay, ma'am. Permit to my, my colleagues. I just want to get like clarification on this matter. Like uh, when you said the yeah, idea, is there any case that you have to like compromise? Like any case you have faced in um law and you have to compromise. Okay. I have to compromise, but okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, whatever you are doing in life, whether you are a lawyer or you're a doctor or you're an engineer or even if you're a pastor, whatever you are doing in life, there will always be chances. There, you will always get opportunity to compromise. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? So even if you're a teacher, or a farmer, whatever you are doing, 
there will always be opportunity for you to compromise. But we know that compromising is bad, right? Yes. So it, it boils down to who you are. Who are you? So whether you're a lawyer or not, who are you? So if you're a child of God, you know you cannot compromise. So definitely I've had opportunities to lie, opportunity to cheat, opportunity to, to defraud, you know, but because I know who I am, you get. So I'm a child of God. So I'm not just working for money. I'm not just working to make money. I'm also trying to make evil. And I'm also trying to make God happy. So that makes the difference. I meet with my colleagues, man. There are some cases you do face in court that is going to that the offender, like they are they, they have money. And they will tell you that if you drive them to win this case, they are going to be a huge surprise for you. And if you know you can't do it, that someone lives can go. What I mean is like they, they may kill the person. So I want you to, to advise up to advise us on what we can do so that when we are in time of that situation, we can know what to do during that time. Okay. Can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, ma'am. Okay. So as I was saying, what I was, what I am going to do, if it is me, but if I find myself in that situation, is to let the client know, my client, to, to know that, okay, I'm a child of God. I can't do this. I can't lie for you. But then I can, I can look for ways, every legal way to make his punishment smaller okay to 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 make his punishment lighter or he should get another lawyer if he is insisting that i should do what i don't want to do then he should get another lawyer okay ma. are you also a woman activist can you hear us ma okay yes i can hear you now my question is that are you also an woman activist Okay, you mean a human rights activist? Yes. Yeah, okay. I am currently not a human rights activist. <laughs> but maybe, maybe, but definitely if I see uh, something wrong going on and there is something I can do about it, I will, I will, I will try my best to do something about it, but I don't currently consider myself a human rights activist so i am not i am not a human rights activist permit me my colleague as you said there like that if your clients if your clients in insist that you should do what you want to do but can you help that client to get another lawyer <laughs> to <laughs> To do the bad thing, to, to lie for him, right? No, to help him to get another lawyer. Like you have a, a lawyer friend. So is what he's trying to say is that can you help the person to get another lawyer? Okay, ma. I can hear you. Please ask your question again. As you said earlier, that if your client insists that you should do what you want to do. Can you have that, that client to get another lawyer? Okay. You mean my client that wanted me to lie? Yes. yes. For him so that he will not be... Uh, no. He will have to get another lawyer himself. <laughs> I, can't, I can't help him to get another lawyer. Yes. So we, we have to look for another lawyer on his own. If I advise him, if I give him good advice and he, he didn't take it or he does not want to take it, he still wants to, you know, he still wants to lie. He still wants to uh, pretend that he did, not, he did not commit the offense that he actually committed, you know. 
So I can't help you to look for another lawyer. Ma, just in brief, just in briefly, how will you describe PIS, Prince International School, to the citizen of Nigeria? Can you hear us, ma? Okay, I can hear you now. So your network is very, very bad. Okay, but can you hear me too? Yes. yes that's okay. That's so, it. how will you describe PIS, Prince International School, to the citizen of Nigeria? To the citizens of Nigeria. Okay. So Prince International School is a citadel of learning. It's a school where anyone is privileged, anyone that is a student of or that is a part of is, is privileged to be is privileged to be a part of. It is it gives you everything you need, every ingredient every raw material you need to actually become somebody in life. So I would say PIS is, so I think I already answered your question. Do you still have any other questions? Yes. Uh, then Jan, in your agenda now, what is next for you in life? Okay. Yes, I heard you. That's a, a very big question. But I will just restrict it to career-wise. So, like I said earlier, I'm a student. Um, I'm doing my master's. So I'm hoping to finish very, finish very soon. So progressing academically is actually something I look forward to. Getting my master's, getting my PhD, then I'm looking forward to lecturing, switching to academics, though I will still be practicing, but I also want to enter academics. So I think that's the next big thing that I'm looking forward to. Do you get that? Yes, ma'am. Oh, yes, ma'am. Yeah, thank you. Now, what's your message to the Prince International School community? Okay. My message to Prince International School community is let's, uh, let's all work together to make Prince International School a, 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 a heaven on earth. <laughs> a dream come true, a place everybody wants to be. So I will, I will say to the students to do all they can to make the school proud, to, to study hard, to be the best they can be academically, socially, and in every area of their lives so that they will make the school proud. And I will also encourage the teachers, they're already doing well, to still put in more efforts because God is the rewarder. So God is a rewarder. Everything we're doing now, we are not we are not just doing it for human beings. We are we are doing it for God. So God is a rewarder. That's my message. For the students is to study hard and make the school proud. And for the teachers is to is to keep doing what they are doing, keep doing well. And I, I know that God will reward them by God's grace. God will reward them. Thank you, ma'am. We really, we really appreciate you. I will enjoy interviewing you. You're yeah, welcome. And the time you scheduled in order to answer our call. And and I will I would like to know next time we call you, you will be able to answer us. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, definitely. By God's grace. Thanks, You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so thanks for interviewing me. God bless you. Thank you. Barista, thank you very much. You. Very thank you, sir. Our <laughs> principal. Thank you to Samuel, David, Emmanuel, and Samuel. and what's the name of the last person? Samuel. Samuel, Samuel too. Thinking. Yeah, we have to Samuel. <laughs> yeah. Ah, thank okay. you. Thank you. God bless you. Well done. All right. <laughs> Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. God be with you. Amen. And you too.